Hello, welcome to Dragons, Arts, and Crafts. Do note I do have it. It's 18 plus channel. It is considered an 18 plus channel, even though it's an Arts and Crafts. Um, some of the stuff that I will be doing later on might not be appropriate for children to watch. Uh, there's nothing really racy. It's just that I do tend to go, uh, when I'm doing some crafts, to ghouly, gory stuff, um, not too gory, but like zombies and stuff, and some small children get traumatized by that. And sometimes I oops and say words that small children should not hear. So, welcome to my channel. There's your disclaimer. Let's go. So, I'm going to be working on this guy today. I'm not painting him. I'm scraping him off. I painted this guy. I wasn't happy with how he came out. His paint is uneven. Uh, he's got some nicks in him from storage, I'm assuming, or I dropped them at some point in time. Um, let's see, one second, I gotta fix my, fix my thing. There we go. And I cleaned up his face last night. I can't do any more about the holes because there's two uh, without digging in him. Now with this stuff, this is a little kid's uh, ceramic paint set. It came with this guy, this little hippo. Unfortunately, she has lost her ears. Uh, I have the ears. I do not know if I'm going to glue them back on or if I'm just going to stick a little cute little bows on her. I'm not sure yet. She came that way. I have a little elephant that I have painted. I'm not scraping this off. I'm happy with her color. She's beautiful just the way she is. I'm going to do her eyes, but not right now. As, uh, I'm not going to be doing painting right now. And it came with this as well, a little lion. So, little kitty thing. Oh, excuse me. Um, they came with pre-made paints. Um, I did not use these pre-paint, pre-pre-pre-pre-pre. Words are really, really hard. Uh, pre-mixed paints. I didn't use them on this side. I do use them, but it's very rarely. Most of the time I clean out the tubs because the paint's usually garbage. Uh, because they're... You know, I just usually clean out the tubs and use the little tubs, like if I custom paint, uh, custom make a paint, uh, if I want to keep painting something later on. Uh, so I, uh, I do save the little tubs, but I usually do not use the paint inside of it, um, unless it's a color that I can't find. I don't really have a red, so I might be using the red, but we'll see. That's not for right now. Just use little brushes. I try to get the finest ones I could find. Um, this is what I did with these guys. I probably have to find a uh, finer tip, but I can do it with these, I believe. Okay, and I use acrylic paints. Now, probably using this orange, which is already on this tiger. And combine it with the black and make a darker orange, which I'd probably be happier with because they're not really bright orange. Even though it's a kitty little figurine, I kind of want them to be a little darker orange. So this was all painted, even his ears. I scraped it out last night, scraped out all this, scraped out his eyes. Um, so make sure your tools are clean. I clean off my X-Acto knife and some of my tools, uh, not the paint brushes, not the paint, but this guy I'm using, I forgot to say something, this guy's too fat for what I, what I need to use it for, so I just use him to dust off all the dust that I'm going to make by scraping this guy. Um, because I use acrylics, they can be washed off with water. Um, I'll show you the proper way to wash off a brush when I'm doing it um, because if you jam your brush you're just going to ruin it but we're not doing that part yet. Back to this guy. 
Um, be very, 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 very careful when you are using an X-Acto knife. They will slice you. That is not my middle finger, that is my ring finger. They will slice you open, so be careful. Um, I, uh, I always stress being so careful with X-Acto knives. I've seen so many people slice themselves really, really bad with these things jab themselves really really bad with them so please 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 be careful with them um, do not let any small children run around you when you're using this or even handle it so please okay um, so because it's so sharp this is the dull end, so this this is okay So what we're going to be doing is scraping off this. Now with this, this is a, uh, a ceramic. It's not hard, it's soft. Um, ceramics go into a couple of stages. Uh, they get pour, poured or molded. Um, then they go, they go, uh, I can't remember the technical term, but they're like a soft clay. Um, but you, you have to be careful when you're cleaning them because you can clean off details off of them or you can puncture them with your fingers Well, you can hurt them when you're scraping them off those are but those ones you have to be extremely careful with the green clay green clay um, They're green They don't look green, but they're green, but this guy he's been fired Okay, that means he's got to that stage where he's not soft clay um but you don't want to give him a bath right now. He will turn into mush. Don't get, don't ever put a untreated ceramic piece in water or any other liquid. That's why we are not like taking alcohol and rubbing it off because he is still in a, a what I call a soft stage because he can still be damaged. I can damage him with a Zecto knife just by a scrape. Um, or I can actually get him wet and he'll just melt or, or he loses the detail. Um, so also when we're scraping, we can scrape off details as well. So we want to be very, very careful when we're scraping it off. Um, when I was doing this last night, I went in and I detailed out their eyes, out the paint out of their eyes. Like I said, I can't do anything about this part. Because it's too deep, the paint's too deep in there. I don't know if I said that or not. But anyway, the the paint's in there. Uh, but if I scrape out any more, I'm going to start damaging and making big holes in his face. And I don't want any more holes than what's already in his face. But I think that we can work with that. I think it'll be fine. Uh, he's got tiger stripes that have little grooves in there. You see where my fingernail's inside the groove? You see where the black paint is at? I should have done a little bit better job of this. I feel that I had rushed this. Uh, I painted him in, I think, 20 minutes, maybe a little bit longer, if that. Uh, he is. He has mistakes in him. Uh, he's got thicker paint spots. He's got thinner paint spots. He's got paint overlapping everywhere. So, and I was looking at him, and I'm saying, going. I'm going to do better, so I'm going to scrape all this off and uh, redo them. So let's, I'll show you the scraping, what I've been doing. Now you better be careful. Let me make sure it keeps moving all over the place. All right. Sharp end, dull end. I know I seem to be stressing this too much, but I have done it so many times. I had the sharp end up. Bam! Finger on the sharp end, and guess what happened? So, make sure you have it the correct way. I know you can't see me. Let's mess with the the uh, focus on the camera. Can you focus that? Can you focus that? Okay. Anyway, we'll go like that. Okay. Be careful you don't jab yourself with it or the figurine with it, because you can't damage the figurine with it. Okay. Now, when I'm scraping. Now you notice how I grabbed the blade like this, okay? It's for a little control, but you have to be extremely careful of this. You don't slide your finger underneath there and get that blade 
That's what happened to my finger over here. I wasn't really pay. I had my fingers right there, and all of a sudden that finger slid underneath there, and hello. Okay, so when you're doing it this way, please be careful that you're not grabbing anything that is sharp. This is for control. And you just lightly scrape, scrape it off. I have to turn it where I can see it. So, so we're going to scrape that paint off. A little dust job. And make sure that we didn't dig in there. So, sometimes you are going to have to get a little bit on the danger zone side and kind of scrape towards it but please like I said be careful do it slow very very slow and just slowly scrape this off okay. and I'm going to dust it there we are. We want to make sure we don't, don't gouge it. Keep it as smooth as possible. Less work you have to do later. Um, so you don't make it. So you're, you're trying to... Oh, I digged a hole. i got to try and scrape it up. Um, I don't have anything that could fill this guy up, so I'm being extremely careful with it. Um, I know you can probably buy stuff to fill in holes and stuff like that, but with something like this, if you can be careful enough, like we here, this took me like an hour and a half to scrape. But you see, there's a lot of detail. His eyes, his eyebrow, his little tuft of hair, his cheeks, his whiskers, his face. So that's why he took so long on that side. So we're going to... Let's go ahead and try to get this stripe. I need a better pointing tool. This stripe right here, it has a little groove where this right in here. So let's see if I can get that, show you how to carefully get in there and get that off of there. I almost dug into his cheek. So we want to scrape it off. So just work in small little spices very carefully because here's where you can kind of dig into the thing wrong. We're going over the top of it, just scraping that black paint off of it. A little bit of his cheek here. see that dark line right there. We're going to scrape that out. So we're going to make sure which angle you want this at. I want this. I don't want the stripe angling out this way. I want it going to go into the stripe. So I'm going to take this and start scraping into that crack. Digging out all that paint. Kind of a little bit redoing his stripe just a little bit. You gotta be careful that you don't don't take off something you don't want to. Um, that's why I was deciding which angle I wanted his stripe in. I want it towards the stripe, then towards his face. So I wanted to angle in towards the stripe more and scrape out that stuff. Kind of using the original groove as a pattern. And just scrape, 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 scrape. And on this side, you know that when you're scraping, the knife bumps even when you can't see it. So when you see your piece closely, You'll see like little grooves on there. That's when the bumping of the knife. 
So you just like really slowly, just kind of slowly taking it off. I don't know if it sticks that up or not. Yeah. I have an earbud in my ear so I can so I can record my sound. It keeps slipping out. So. That. Back and scrape this out here. Sorry, I'm in the concentration mode because I really don't want to slip and make this groove I'm looking in any deeper than what it is. Try to scrape off the paint. Now I'm looking out here and the paint didn't really stain the ceramic. Can you see there? I'm going to try to get this little black piece out of here and this little piece right here. Carefully scrape around the eye because I don't want to slice his eyebrow off. The key thing of this is being patient and just taking the try to take his little of the ceramic off as possible, mostly just the paint. Just getting the paint off of there. Look where you guys can see and around my light and all oh, it's not quite working out the way I want to, but we're just gonna have to you, know, you can kinda of see what I'm doing. Scraping it off, dusting it out, and there's that. And there's his cheek. We have a little bit of groove of his mouth, so we want to be careful on his mouth and not to scrape his nose like I almost did. Just keep scraping off that paint. When I was scraping this, I was afraid that the pigments of the, uh, the paint might have stained him. It doesn't look like the case. Some of it's not going to come off because I just don't want to dig at it anymore and make it really bad. I was really scared with his ears. That was going to make it really, really bad. But there's some, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, a little bit of grooving in his ear. That's from the knife, but I'm going to pretend like it's fur. Sometimes you got to do that. you got to kind of pretend... Something is something is what it is not. So we're gonna scrape here. Right along here. 
and then scrape up on his cheek here where the stripe is at. A lot of crafting stuff, like the paint and stuff like that, is done in the illusion to make something look like something else. Like this little guy. And though I got scrape marks on him. And yes, I can take fine, really fine sandpaper and scrape it off, but it, I'm going to make it to where... That's fur. Now, I don't know if you see all the dust pulp, dust coming off of that. Try not to have your face right down in this when you're doing that. I really don't think it's good enough to breathe. Or if you're really concerned about it, wear a mask. But we're all going to sick of masks. I didn't say that. All right. Do wear your mask, though. All right. We will go like this. And scrape all this off. Like so. I just have a piece of paper to protect my desk and it make it easier to clean up. Let's see, we, I'm going to scrape off that part right there. Carefully, because I'm getting into a groove area. Don't want to scrape off the details of his cheek fur. This is poor little guy. I did him in 2019, so he's been sitting in my closet for that time, along with those other guys. He's been sitting there. And I dug him out, looked at him, and said, You know what? I can do I may or may not. I might even do worse. I'm going to have to do all this process all over again. But, that's all I'm doing is scraping all that off of there. It's like that. And later on, when he's all scraped, paint him and drop him <laughs> over paint him out and hopefully I can do a better job than I did last time so there's him this guy's still in debate I probably will end up scraping him now that I'm looking at him yeah his his foot got a little damaged yeah I could touch it up with paint but then we got a thick foot and a not so thick foot. Yeah, he got damaged up pretty good. He must have bounced in my closet as well. Which, or she. It must have bounced in my closet as well. So, looks like we're going to be scraping, maybe scraping this guy too. I don't, I'm not really sure. I'm a little happy. I kind of like how he turned out. It's cutesy. But I probably might, might because I think the ears are a little too pink. But this is the only pink I have. And it's, uh, it's a fuchsia. So it's a really bright, bright pink. And it's in his ears. And I probably should have toned it down with some white. And make it a lighter pink. Yeah, I probably should have. I probably should have toned that down to... So it looks like I might be scraping a monkey as well. But right now, we're working on this little guy. But I'm going to save a rest for the other time. I'm going to continue scraping him off. And then maybe we can get him painted and make him look adorable. And anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.